you're losing. What's up guys? Welcome back to Thug Life Gaming. I'm your man Matt Rogers aka Born Legit. Today we're going to talk about some stuff that's going to help you get real grimy in some online multiplayer to have you pwning some noobs out there. So what are we talking about? Well, I'm going to run you through seven different shot spots here in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare's multiplayer. And if you're unfamiliar with what shot spots are, basically they're just locations on a map that are really effective for picking up kills that the enemy team is not going to expect. So go ahead and go grab your sanitizer because uh, we about to get real dirty. The first shot spot we're going to talk about is located on Horizon and it's right here on top of what considered to be the sniper rooftop. Now obviously a lot of people know of this position because it has a great viewpoint of the map, but I have a little secret that's going to help you pick up kills in the center control room and in the center hallway. So what is that secret? Well to put it simple for you, you can shoot through the windows. Shot spot number two is going to be on Riot, located right here at the top of Main Street inside the building's lobby. Now, a lot of people don't realize there are actually these little ledges that you can climb up on in order to get the jump on your opponent. Now, these spots are effective because you can kill enemies coming out of both sides of the Main Street spawn. Not only that, but you can also peek outside the ledges in order to kill enemies on the rooftop. So, let's see that in action. Our third shot spot is here on the map Detroit and is going to help you keep control of Center Street. Now your location is going to be right here in this little back room and what's really unique about it is you're able to actually aim through a doorknob in order to get a straight line of sight to a window on the opposing side of the street. Now this is important because a lot of players will actually camp the window that you're able to see in order to keep control of that center street. So all you have to do is aim through that doorknob if you want to piss off a few campers. <laughs> Retreat is the location of our fourth shot spot, and what's unique about this map is the same trick can be done in multiple different locations, highlighted by blue dots right here. Now what you're going to find in these spots is a tree. All you have to do is jump up into the branches of the tree, and it's going to provide you with enough foliage so that your enemy opponents won't even notice you. But probably the best thing about these locations is they actually provide a great viewpoint towards some high traffic doorways. So all you have to do is jump up into those branches and pull off some sneaky kills. Wait. 
Our fifth shot spot is here on Defender and is possibly the most simple of them all. It's located right here on top of the plane on the landing pad. Now from here, you're gonna get a great visual of this entire side of the map and the wing of the plane gives you great coverage when you go prone, just in case the enemy team gets a little ticked off. Our second to last shot spot is on Instinct and is gonna be right here on the back left wheel of the excavator. Now from here, you're gonna have a great visual of the temple steps, but I'm guessing you probably already knew that. So here's two tips that you might not have seen before. For starters, you can lay down on top of that wheel and there's actually a little peephole that's gonna give you a straight line visual to Middle Creek. So you're gonna be able to take out opponents as they turn that corner. Secondly, if you get shot from your right side, side you can actually drop down on the side of the wheel and there's going to be a perfect window there for you to take out the opponent who thought he was going to kill you. Our seventh and last shot spot is on Green Band. Now the location itself is very simple to utilize, but it's very effective. Now all you have to do is jump into the tree located right here. Now I think you'll be surprised with how hard it is to notice somebody once they're already in the tree. And as a matter of fact, the only time I ever got killed was once I made my opponents angry by being at the top of the scoreboard. So if you'll notice, you have a full 360 degree view of your surroundings. So what you're probably gonna wanna do is pick up a few kills, leave, and then come back later for some dessert.
Alright guys, if you liked the video and you want to see more from Thug Life Gaming, then comment below, go click the thumbs up button, go share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to Thug Life Gaming already, <laughs> Alright, I'm not doing another take of that because I'm not going to ruin another perfectly good banana. <laughs> but let's get into the comment spotlight. This week's comment spotlight goes to Lupa Phoenix, who left a really cool comment showing a lot of respect and love for Tom Clancy in my last commentary, which I thought was really cool, and he really loved the video. So thank you for the comment, man. You know I appreciate it. But now let's get into the... Shout out of the week for those of you that are helping to promote Thug Life Gaming and just get the word out in general. This week's winner goes to Born Fierce, who's been doing a lot of promoting for Thug Life Gaming on social networks like Instagram and Facebook, and he's just been getting the word out and helping me a lot. So thank you, man. You deserve the shout out of the week. But now, let's find out who got the Thug of the Week. How you get the Thug of the Week is you fill out the form on the contact page of thuglifegaming.com letting me know what makes you a thug. This week's winner goes to a guy that I've known almost my entire life um, and I'm actually getting ready to go to his wedding tomorrow and his name is Alex Harvey. Now the reason why he gets the Thug of the Week is because ever since we were little kids he's wanted to be in the Air Force. So after high school he actually got accepted into the Air Force Academy and he's just been killing it. He got like first in his class, he's doing like ridiculous in all of his test scores um, and just recently uh, he went out on his first solo pilot run. So I just want to congratulate him on that and congratulations on getting married to a beautiful woman i wish the best of luck to both of you guys alex you definitely deserve the thug of the week all right guys but that's it for this week's video thank you for tuning in i hope those shot spots help you to start poning some noobs online but again thank you i'll see everybody here in a couple days keep living that life because that's what thugs do baby take it easy guys